A major development in the Prop 8 case could be just one week away. We'll have all the details about when and where marriages could start back up again. Meanwhile, marriage goes to the voters in four states, and the polling is still very close. And we'll have a look ahead to states that could be major marriage battlegrounds in 2013. I'm Matt Baum with the American Foundation for Equal Rights, and welcome to Marriage Newswatch for September 17, 2012. We're just one week away from the Supreme Court of the United States meeting to consider hearing Avers' case against Prop 8. If they decide to take our case on Monday, they'll announce it in a list that's released on Tuesday, September 25th. Then we'll file briefs, have oral arguments, and get a decision about Prop 8's constitutionality by the end of June. If we're not on next Tuesday's list, it means one of two things. Either they won't hear our case, or they're simply holding off on making a decision until later. If they've rejected the petition to hear our case, they'll announce that on the following Monday, October 1st. In that case, our previous victory against Prop 8 will be the final decisive word. In other words, Prop 8 will be unconstitutional forever, and marriages can start back up again in California. You can stay connected to the case and be the first to know when something happens. Subscribe here on YouTube or head over to AFER.org to sign up for breaking news alerts. We're also just a few weeks away from marriage going to voters in four states, Maine, Minnesota, Maryland, and Washington. Polling in Minnesota is neck and neck, with a new poll this week showing the marriage ban ahead by just 48 to 47 percent. But the polling's much stronger in Washington, where a referendum to legalize the freedom to marry is ahead, 56 to 38 percent. The campaign in Washington just released a new TV commercial featuring straight parents offering positive remarks about their lesbian daughter. This type of ad has become the standard format for states facing marriage on the ballot. Once the dust settles from the election, the next states to watch may be Rhode Island and Nevada. Lawmakers in Rhode Island have pledged to take up a marriage bill after similar legislation failed last year, and Assemblyman Elliot Anderson of Las Vegas plans to introduce a bill that would overturn the state's 10-year-old constitutional ban on marriage equality. You can stay up to date on these states and the fight to overturn Prop 8 by subscribing here on YouTube and over at AFER.org. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.